Sorry to those of you here. All right. So this was our Nearpod drawing. You guys all had this line to start with. I'll do this as like an intro activity, brain break, exit activity. And I just love, I mean, just I just love looking at what you guys have already drawn, that everyone kind of just went a different direction with um, what they have done. So in order to make one of these in Nearpod, um, I can't actually, you can do even one on the fly in your thing with the add activity, you would just go to draw it. And then I like to add my own images. Oh, actually on here, you can't do it this way. So let me just show a Nearpod from the get go. Hold on. That one I can't add my own background to. So let me just show one really quick here. Is there anyone in here who's not familiar with this? With how to do um, Nearpod? I wonder if it'll let me get to one. I'm not okay. so for long. So go over and just show it really quick. So you just create a new lesson from scratch. You also can do this if you're bringing in a Google slide. If you already have your Google slide and you're converting it to a Nearpod, this isn't a Nearpod thing, so I'm not gonna go into that too much. So I'm gonna add content activities. You go to activities and then draw it. At the top here's where you would write your instructions, like and you saw those instructions I wrote to you. And then right here is where you would download an, or you would upload an image. So on my slides, I just take Google Slides and I draw, I, I make a bunch ahead of time, but you can do it just right on the fly that day. So I create some with just random lines. Sometimes I'll do shapes and have them turn that into whatever image they want. Sometimes I'll take like a stick figure or even something like this one here where they have to draw the face in themselves and then they can put whatever they want here. That I love that one too because kids go so many different directions. Some it's running, some they're like holding someone back. Um, so this one's a really creative one too. Sometimes I'll just do a speech bubble and see what do they actually put over here. Sometimes they'll, um, you know, draw a stick figure, an animal. Um, this was just a globe one I did one time. Um, we were talking about what's inside your snow globe. Um, and then this, sometimes I'll do a caption this. So this was like a cat with a fish. So it's just interesting to see the different directions they will go. Um, on what the relationship is between that cat and fish, or even um, a gift that they had to draw, what would they hope would be inside of a box. So there are some programs out there where you can do a bunch of these ahead of time and then download all of your slides as JPEG photos. So it's done just a bunch at one time and save them inside a drive folder so that you can just, you know, anytime grab a draw activity. Otherwise, if you just do one on the spot, you would go to the slide, then go file. Let me just do a different one. Click this one. And then you would go to file, download as JPEG. And that's going to download that. That one slide is a JPEG photo. Then in Nearpod, where was my Nearpod? In Nearpod here, you can upload a background image. So I can just take this and drag it or click on it and find it. And now this is the new background image they have, like what you guys just saw that line they would see this. Like um, I suggest the draw, you can use this draw activity for so many things. Like I do it with teachers for labeling things. So they can put any picture back here. My music department, I suggest for them to use like, um, to use music sheets in the background so then kids can draw notes and it's a quick way for them to get feedback on do the kids know their notes. Um, I'm gonna delete this one real quick and show you. You can also search. So if I choose upload a background image, so I could like search here for the music sheet. And um, actually I want a blank one. Let's just pretend one of these is blank for time saving purposes. So now you can see they would have this as their background, pretend it's a blank one, um, where kids could go in and write notes. So you can put anything on the back of this. But um, this draw it activity is one that I really enjoy doing with my kids just to kind of, you know, take a little brain break of creativity and of their imagination run a little wild there with what they create. So that's just a little intro activity. I like doing stuff like this when I'm starting a Nearpod. Instead of having your Nearpod be a title slide, I like doing activities like this because then while the kids are all waiting for everyone else to get logged in, they have something to do. You know, so that, that's a good way of using that. There you go. That was it. Thanks for being creative. This is great. Thank you, Joanne. I so enjoyed it. And this is perfect because um, so we already did the get to know each other activity. And 
um, the, the theme for March is creativity and play. So thank you so much. Good. Hopefully you guys can use the idea. Oh, definitely. I will so use it. Okay. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to Gig Nevada monthly meeting number eight. Ocho, hachi. So um, we have a lot to um, offer this month as well. And um, the next slide, please. Thank you, Dana. And please meet the Gig Nevada team. If you don't know um, what GIG stands for, that is Google Educator Group. And uh, if you are interested in becoming uh, one of the leaders, please let us know because we uh, welcome everybody. And our norms are please mute yourself. Thank you. And please use the chat for comments and questions and have fun. Um, everybody, you know, like we, you must be tired. <laughs> from maybe being online, but you know, thank you again so much for being here. We really appreciate that. Okay, and um, if you have not joined Google um, group, please do so because we will share um, emails with you, important information with you. Thank you, Dana, for showing the, uh, the gig, uh, I'm sorry, the Google group page. And you can easily change the, the email settings. If you don't want to be getting too many emails, it's very easy to change the setting. So please join us so that we don't miss anybody. Okay. And this is how you can um, change the, um, you know, how often you receive emails. Okay. And uh, this is really important to us because we uh, want to celebrate, acknowledge, um, acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments. Maybe you went for Google Educator Level 1 or Level 2 or Trainer, Innovator, or even Coach. Is anybody a coach yet? Not yet? Who will be the first one? <laughs> the race is on. So um, here is a level two and level one. There are many, many teachers, educators from all over Nevada. We want to, um, you know, again, acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments. So please fill out this Google form and let us know. Hey, our mission is to build a community of educators from around Nevada who empower, inspire, share, and learn together united in a common interest to leverage technology for transformations in learning. Hey, once again, welcome to our eighth monthly meeting. And um, we already did the uh, get to know each other activity. Uh, okay, so, but let's see. Sorry, um, I, my, I teach at the uh, Bordwick Bray Elementary School in Carson City and our admin team and I do a book club and we love this onward. I highly recommend this written by Elena um, um, Aguilar. And every month there's a different theme. And this month is uh, spring break brings an opportunity to explore play and creativity so that you can integrate these activities into daily life instead of waiting for your big trip to Europe or trip to Japan. Like I'm finally going to Japan to visit my family this summer. So I am, I am psyched. I don't care if I have to be quarantined in Tokyo for two weeks. I don't care. I will go. I haven't seen my family in um, one and a half years. So, uh, but anyway, so that's my vacation, right? And that's my, um, you know, vacation, but, you know, I don't want to wait <laughs> to play and to be creative until then, of course. So, um, because resilience arises from creation and the activity that Joanne just showed us, I love it. I mean, I was just drawing something abstract and that was so rejuvenating. So that was great. I, I'd love to use this activity for staff meeting with students, everybody. I think this is great. So thank you, Joanne. That was great. 
Okay, and Scott, would you like to talk about office hours? I will. We have uh, three slots left to the end of the school year. Uh, if you want to, if you want to reach out and help other teachers at four o'clock on Tuesdays, except for the Tuesday that we have our monthly meeting, uh, sign up on the link below. Thanks so much. And that's it. Thank you, Scott. All right, and Dana, please. Go I'm going to it. defer to Robin if you're okay with that. Of course. Refer to me. <laughs> we can do this together. Her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I want you to get started. So part of this is that we, uh, Dana and I and a few others, have been lucky enough to go to a PD with Google recently. And part of that was a crazy eight challenge that we were to participate in. And so what we're going to be doing today is actually breaking you up into groups and there are going to be activities that you're going to participate in. And the first part, the first activity is going to be that you're going to quickly introduce yourself. Um, you're going to share any challenges that you're having in your classrooms um, and you want to kind of get that in on that slide. And then you're going to focus in on a challenge that you'd like to move forward with. Uh, and we're going to show you that there's a second slide to this where you're going to put your name in, the challenge that you identified, and then there's going to be a Jamboard link because we're going to do a second part that we'll take you into after you've done that much. So Dana, do you want to help? So we are going to set you up in breakout rooms, and I'll get that going in just a minute. Uh, Robin, do you think groups of three are good, or should we do groups of four? Well, it looks like we have 12 people today. So, so either one would work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Math, it's a wonderful thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I find that uh, it's good to have four people in a, in a space. So maybe we should go with just three groups. Okay. So you guys won't know your group until I hit uh, open rooms. And then you'll see on the top what room you're going to. Before you actually go to that room, click on one of these groups. So oh, I should probably share this, huh? Yes. Here is the link to the slides. So this is slide 10. So if everybody could jump on the slides and navigate to slide 10. And then if anybody doesn't help your group members out when you actually get in your group and your group members will, well, actually you need to click. So I'll help if you need to get into one of these groups. So when I hit open rooms, you're gonna see on the top of your screen, what room you are to go into. Now I'm gonna go in a room too because I wanna play, but usually for your students, there would be a request help along the top that the students could click to request you to go in there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be in a room too because I wanna do this too because this is fun. Um, whatever group you're going into, that's gonna be the, or whatever room you're in, that's gonna correlate with the group. Just mm -hmm. to make sure that's clear. Yep, yeah, so if you're in room one, you're gonna click on group one. If you're in room two, you're gonna click in room two, which is down here green, and three is gonna be yellow. And we'll save these for another time. Is everybody ready to roll into breakout rooms? Are there any questions before we go? Oh, did we wanna tell them about roles once they're in there? Oh, please, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, once you're in there, each one of you will have a role that you take on, the, the roles being that one is going to be a leader, one is going to be like kind of a recorder, so somebody who will do all the typing on the slide. Um, then another one, and I'm trying to remember timekeeper, uh, and I'm trying to remember the fourth one. Reporter. Thank you, reporter. So when we come back to the whole group, you'll be the one who would share out what was covered as the main challenges. Did we miss a slide? I do remember the like that we did. <laughs> that we did. Sorry we about something that. in our processes, but it's all good. All so, right, let's go ahead and open okay. rooms. You say those those jobs again? Sure. It is that there is one person who's leader keeps everybody on task. Two is somebody who's the recorder who types things in on the piece. 
three. Uh oh, I've done it again. Um, <laughs> well, I know there's a, a reporter, but then uh, key, timekeeper. Oh, timekeeper. Thank you. Timekeeper is the fourth person, and we're only going to give you. You'll see. There's a total of eight minutes. Is that right? Yep. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. That we're giving you to so, do this. So timekeeper, Robin, and reporter. Yes.
Well, did it break? See how breakout room two is deep in conversation. No, we're back. We're back. <laughs> we, we jam. We used every second. Yeah, it's oh, hard. Yeah. yeah. But this next one's going to be even harder. So get ready. Okay. <laughs> this is so much fun, you guys. I, I love the breakout room. That was so it much is. fun. Are we going back to the same group? We're, we're actually doing it from here in this next oh, okay. group. Yes. But if we explained it well, which I don't know if we did, but trust me, we get better every time we do it. Uh, you should have a sheet that looks like this with at least one challenge that you guys decided you could work with. I know in my group, there's a couple challenges that were like, well, we're not going to fix that at our level. We'd have to go to district level. So we're not going to work on that one. So we picked a challenge that we could work on. All of us are teaching multiple cohorts at the same time. And so our challenge was to get kids that are at home and kids that are in the classroom working at the same time. So that's the challenge our group picked. Mm -hmm. So now if you go to the next slide for your group, so this is my group, I have Jamboard 1, Kate's got Jamboard 2, and Christy has got Jamboard 3. It all says Jamboard 1, but that was just because me and Robin were using copy paste a thousand times. They <laughs> really do go to different Jamboards, I promise. Yeah. So if I click on my Jamboard, what I'm gonna see is eight questions. Now you only get 40 seconds to answer a question. And it's that pressure that's going to spark <laughs> the creativity. And it's going to be stressful. And the first couple times you're going to be like, the, the time already went off? How am I supposed to do that? So I'll let you I'll let you get there a little early if everybody could open up their jam board. So at least we're not wasting time on the jam board. And I'll read the question once before I start the timers. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, what does that question even mean? Figure it out. Make it mean what you want it to mean. Think fast. Be creative. What is one tool that could help you with this challenge? What is the why behind using this tool? How will you help students connect with the topic and content? How will students connect with one another in meaningful, engaging ways? How will you honor the work that students do during the lesson and the activity? How will students contribute to the collective wisdom of the class and see this as an opportunity to build connections with others? What will students walk away with? What will they be creating that could continue to be built or referred back to? So those are the eight questions you're going to be answering. So you're going to grab a sticky or a text box, whatever you want. Type out the answer. Save it. Put that sticky where it goes and go on to the next one. You only have 40 seconds <laughs> per question. And Dana has a lovely timer she's going to use. Oh, for no. <laughs> for those of you who went to the PD training, all you guys asked the PD leaders questions. I said, can I have that YouTube link? <laughs> oh, but I'm going to start tab instead. Make sure it's, or we're at the start, right? Yeah, we're at the start. If I answer a quicker a question quicker than 40 seconds, can I go to the next question and start, or do I have to wait for the timer to start at 40? I'll say yes. Okay. Ready, set, go. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Click on your Jamboard and go. Uh, uh, mine or somebody else's? Yours next to your name. Got it. Do we have to wait to answer the next one? Nope. Just keep going. I like that plan. <laughs> Next question.
Next question. Okay, how do I get to my own? Uh, it should be the Jamboard that, so that second slide that we were in, in group one, you go to the one where it says your name and then across, oh, okay. and you click on that Jamboard. I did, Thank that. I did. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question. What is that, number six or number seven? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Just toying with me with this music. <laughs> Do we go into other jam boards or we just finish our own? Finish your own and then we're gonna do a summary where we go back into breakout rooms. Okay, thank you. Here come the hot snapper, I'm the lyrical gangster. Big up the two in the area. Okay, and then obviously I have to share that YouTube link because wasn't that the best timer ever? Yeah. 
Okay, so the next round is the most infuriating because you don't have enough time to really talk about your ideas that much. We're going to do a, a 30 second each wrap up. So that's going to be two minutes for a group. And um, we're going to go back into our breakout rooms and talk about just maybe just one of your favorite answers, one of your favorite things that you came up with, 30 seconds each person, and then breakout room ends. And it's, it's really frustrating because you're never, it's never enough time. Melissa, you're gonna come with me into group up, breakout room three. Okay. Once this, I can get you there. It's okay if not. I'm still trying to, got home, you know, dealing with the chaos. <clears throat> Okay, I got it. Now, this time this group one won't leave. It's about time group one. <laughs> Isn't it so hard? It's well, like the time is the whole key of the activity though. Well, and one of the nice things that I can point out is, is that you all will have continued access to these uh, Jamboard, well, like everything, 
basically you could go into another group and you could look at what the other groups came up with with their challenges and then you could go further in and see the other jam boards that other people have had so by doing this activity we're giving back to the collective uh in our own way so it's really you know practice what you preach so uh in this case that we're building it right back to you that you could then as you have time, go peek in at other people's jam boards and see what other ideas you could gather from that process. Robin, and a couple questions. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Dana. That you can also see that you could use this with any topic in a classroom, this activity of crazy eights, and it's so quick to put together. So Robin and I, it did take us a little while to get the jam boards and stuff, but as soon as we finished doing it, Robin went and Googled it and found a tool to make the jam boards and the links all in once. But you know, you can always train your kids to do it, to train them to make their own jam board and share it with you. So you didn't have to do that. And you know, kids are very trainable. You just have to teach them right and they will, they will follow suit. Go ahead, Joanne. So that was gonna be one of my questions. Was there a faster way? Cause I could see the time consume, you know, how time consuming that could be. So Robin, you'll have sure. to share that tool with us. And then yeah. what is the reason that you guys didn't put even our group of four on its own one jam board? Can you link, uh, can you, you like could have. We could have, okay. but the, the thing with that then is making sure that everybody knows to go to a different jam board or if you're on the same jam board, are you going to overlap with what the other person is? And do you get your own individual time to think is another piece of that is as often we go into activities with the kids and they haven't had time to reflect before coming in and having that conversation and sharing. And so some of it is also to give you that time as an individual to like gather your thoughts about that. Okay. You could even build off of this and go like another step. And that is just what we were talking about, which is build off of each other's ideas and have suggestions, you know, like what's the suggestion that you could add to what somebody already shared. Yeah. Phenomenal activity, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I totally came up with that on my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there is there is a script uh, that was shared that allows you to create the files and and multiples all at once and and makes it a lot easier on you. And I'll find that right now and I'll put it in the chat. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Can I just say something? Uh, the the short amount of time was you know i was freaking out too but at the same time because the time was pressing it something like i wasn't really i did not know that was happening in my head came out so i thought that was interesting that sometimes you know like we need to give our students plenty of time to think but at the same time like this you know like i don't know about this you know and then i was i was pleasantly surprised that i just didn't think about that you know so so that was interesting. That was my takeaway. <laughs> All right, open forum. Sorry, sorry about my doggy. <laughs> okay, so open forum. Does anybody have any questions, any comments? We're gonna go and go back to this when we get to um, updates. <laughs> but did you guys just have tons of issues in your Google Meets this week with like permissions and stuff going away and coming back and going away? It was just kind of a mess. And apparently there's a new issue where because of the sticky um, quick access, students are getting into Meets that were originally opened months ago and now the quick access button is being accessed and kids are going into, they can open them because they're technically already open because of that sticky button. So just be aware that if you are having issues with Google Meets, you are not alone. And people have brought it up and there's probably nothing to fix right now. We just have to wait it out. Anyone else want to share anything from them for them? You know, Dana, I don't know if it's, but if, if teachers have their links to their old meets, they can, like, if you go to, a, if you have a link to a meet and you go in and you hit the record button, 
you can figure out who would actually owns it and then you can email that person. They can open the meat, turn the sticky thing off, and then it does shut that meat down. But it's a matter of doing that legwork of finding out who it belongs to. You can go to details too. Like I had to do that the other day and one of my teachers had gotten in. It just said details and it showed her as the owner. Hey, I haven't gone to that. I'll have to go look at that way. Thank you. Scott, you're somehow muted. Sorry, it's my microphone. Sorry. Thank you. Um, when you go, when they, when the owner goes in, are they going to quick settings or are they just kicking everybody else and exiting? What's the, what's the process? We were going to that host controls and turning it the opposite of whatever it is. Got it, got it, got it, got and it. And that shuts it down. Perfect. So we should tell our teachers to be safe, go to host controls, turn off quick access, and then end the meeting for all. Yeah, so far that's been working for us. And where in meeting details does it say it's the owner? Who's the owner? Uh, you're unmuted. You're muted, Melanie. I found it when the recording came to my email because oh. I didn't realize someone, when I first joined, I said I, I was the only one there, but she had opened the meeting and got back out. So, and it was a code. So, you know, our 933 meet. So uh, it was when the recording was sent to me and I just picked details and it showed me that she was the owner. Okay, good to know. Hive mind, yeah. excellent. I don't know if they fixed this, but last week kids were also able to record Google Meets. Mm -hmm. Yep, that I saw that across the country. Yeah. They were doing that. Yeah, that, that got fixed quickly, but it wasn't very pleasant for a little while. Yeah. Right, no. Make sure you guys, I put a link over there. Make sure you guys check out your creative uh, drawings. I put them together in a GIF. Mimi, did you fall out of the meeting? Is she, is she there? Did she? Did she? Oh, it's still there. All right. my oh, gotcha, battery gotcha. is about to die, so I just uh, opened oh, my um, gotcha. iPad. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> I I know this is a. I have to run. I have a meeting with all. I got my parent meeting, so thank you all guys. Right. That was a really fun activity. I, I want to play with that and do it with the staff. Thank Melanie, you. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow, Scott. Thank you. Okay. And Mimi, I just want to say this is unrelated. I'm very jealous of you. Please have some of the good ramen, a good bowl of ramen for me at one of those wonderful ancient ramen shops down in Tokyo. I will, I will for you, Scott. And then after I come back, you guys wouldn't recognize me because I will be way chubbier than I am. I will be gaining lots of weight. So you will see. Okay. I'll be eating lots of carbs, ramen, and you know, oh. all sorts of good things. So, <laughs> I'm going to have a bowl of ramen here in Las Vegas somewhere just to yeah. honor your trip. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Go out together and do it. Uh, <laughs> are vaccinated now, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm I want to go to Japan myself. I, I spent the whole semester there. So, oh, I'm, you I'm, did? Yeah, I, I went to uh, Temple University in Japan, so I spent the whole semester there. Oh, you did? Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Wow. I would love to get back. Great. We should we should do a tour. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Amy, you need to do our picture. Oh. I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. I'm like... You can stop the recording now. <laughs> I can't believe that's the one job I have and I screwed it up. Well, I still have updates. So, so I'm gonna make oh, yeah. keep going. updates. Okay. So first thing on here is Google is doing a new email PD. So if you sign up for this, I have both links right here. The link, the learn more is a link. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. And then the sign up here is a link and it'll get, you'll get emails to your inbox every Tuesday with mini tidbits of trainings. So feel free to sign up for that. In fact, I'll do the, I'll put the sign up link in the chat if you want it. And then I will be sending this via email, but I wanted to announce it at the meeting first. And then we just have a few Google updates, no big whoop really. But the first one I wanted to show you guys is 
Look at, you have na uh, slide navigation on your present now. That was new, love that. And then I was gonna show you another one up here, but I only have it on my computer at work. I'm sure it'll roll out. There's a reading tab over here so you can bookmark things you want to read. That was a new one today. I like that very much. Um, so Google Meets getting emoji reactions. I know I don't have them yet. Does anybody do any of you guys have emoji reactions yet? Nope. Okay. So they're getting emoji reactions like Zoom has. They're not there yet, but we should see them like any day. Um, in Google Calendar, you can set work hours, but it used to be you could only do it in one chunk a day. You can now split them. So like you can, I'm working from here to here and I'm working from here to here. I don't know if we would use that, but just in case it's helpful. Um, Comments, when you do comments to each other on docs and things, they're filterable now, so you can figure out the ones that are just for you. That's pretty cool if you want to check that out, if you care about that one. And then this one I wanted to highlight. This is actually a Chrome update. They're getting an experiments list, and this is all part of that reading list and things like that. Um, if you opt in to get these, you can uh, get ex the experiment list, which is gonna be feedback on their new features and things. So you can do that two ways, by installing Chrome Canary. If you like to be cutting edge technology, Google how to install Google Chrome Canary. It's kind of like Canary in the coal mine. You get the most updated version of Chrome. Sometimes it's not the best but you kind of get to be that canary for them. So if you like doing that, I don't, I'm too scared. I want things to work, but um, do that. Or you can actually go into your flags and turn on interface. And that's the way you can be part of this experiments tab. And it's gonna be a cute little, cute little, uh, pe uh, what do you call these things, client teachers? Beaker. Beaker, it's gonna be a cute little beaker up here where you get to be the experiment person. So I have a reading list, but I don't have these two features. So I'm thinking about doing that because that sounds fun to me. Anything new and fun. And then, do you guys know that breakout rooms can be set before your meet via calendar now? Play with that one. Go to your calendar, create an event, invite some people, and you can preset your breakout rooms. Now for me, because I use the same meet links every day, I haven't figured out how that's going to be useful. Anybody have any, can you, because you can't use both at the same time. You can't use the shortcut name. And I use the same meet link every day. So it's not helpful for me, but it could be for PD trainings. So, and I know a lot of us do those around here. So that's it. Um, nothing huge, but lots of little bitty things coming down the pike. This is a really dumb question, but where can this document be found on a regular basis? On a regular basis is always embedded in the slide deck on right here. Fantastic. So if you go to month seven, you'll get the month seven updates. Um, also, you guys, I'm still looking for more events coming up. We have Q coming up, but that's all I have right now. So if anybody knows more updates and you want to add that, you guys should, I think you have editing access to this. So you can actually add stuff on here. Okay, that's what I got for you. Next meeting, oh. April 20th. All righty, so picture, picture time. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to, I'm not used to this iPad. Can anybody take a picture? Sorry. <laughs> okay, I will do it. All I see is Dana, <laughs> which is great, but... <laughs> Man, it's not coming. It doesn't like me today. There we go. Okay, I got it. I just have to crop it because it got both my screens. But I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you okay. guys next time. Everybody, you thank you so much. Bye, great, great meeting. Take care. Thank you, our primary Mimi and Dana. Thank you for your hey, hard work. Fun. We did pretty good for our, our first time, Robin.
It was awesome. The it Robin was Lapp. great. Dana. Yeah, Robin, they're out of here. It was great. Uh, I love that. Mimi, when are you leaving? When, when is I'm your ticket for? <laughs> I'm leaving on June 14th. Oh, my God. And coming back on July 31st. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I've been twice, and uh, my wife and I were supposed to go this year. Um, yeah. I love, love, love Japan. Oh, thank and, you. Uh, uh, we're going to definitely go, if not next year, the year after. So Awesome. Um, I'm serious. It's one of my favorite places. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. We'll talk Where do we then. usually put the pictures? I'm sorry, Dana. Where do we usually put the pictures? Is there a folder or just put it in the meeting? I just, uh, there is a, uh, there is a folder. No. Website, photo album. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Dana. Great job. It was really good. Good. And the reason why so many people weren't here is because so many teachers went back to hybrid this week. They're exhausted. Yeah. They're I stressed know. out. I, I don't blame them. Yeah. <sighs> But, but it, was, it good. was really good. So good job. Thanks. Thank you. See, right, see you next month.